My name is uh, Stephen Pennick and we've got some interesting things happening on the Beehive here at Discovery Park. Uh, we put the Beehive in about a year ago, it was back in May of last year. And so the Beehive has been here for a, a good while now and uh, the bees have really grown. I'm going to use my phone to kind of show you what the bees have done. They've really grown and the, the number of bees in the hive has gone up extensively and uh, they're all the way at the top and then all the way down to the bottom they have grown and so uh, the bees uh, have have done really well here they're collecting honey and they're making new bees and and doing a lot of different things but something interesting that we've noticed that has happened is they're actually starting to make new queen cells and a lot of people always are interested in what causes a swarm or what makes a swarm happen and uh, when do those and, and basically how does the, the swarm happen and how does it occur and uh, so swarm cells are a little bit different or queen cells are a little bit different than other cells. The cells that are in this area in particular, they are actually drone cells. They're kind of small and, and fat like that. Those are male cells, drone cells. And then the other cells that are up here, these are uh, worker bee cells. They're a little bit smaller and the worker bees will actually hatch from there. But then whenever we come to this little bulb right here, there's a lot of little bulbs sticking out. A lot of bees are sitting there trying to take care of that thing. They're right there. And uh, if you notice that, that little bulb there, it kind of looks like a peanut, a lot of people say, actually has a queen inside of there. And uh, we believe this queen is probably about uh, eight days from hatching. And so when this queen hatches out uh, the hive, but right before the the queen hatches out the hive will actually swarm and so what the swarm means is that they will take the old queen that's there now that's laying all of these eggs and the, some of the bees they say about 50 percent of the bees will actually leave with the old queen and go find a hole in a tree somewhere or maybe find another hive somewhere and they'll make a new hive wherever they that queen goes with those bees and then the new queen will actually stay inside the hive and she will become the new queen that will take care of and lay the eggs in this hive. So it's really neat to see. Um, another thing that's kind of interesting, there's a queen cell here and then there's another queen cell that's right there. Um, just a little bulge there. So it doesn't look like much, but just a little bulb, bulb. And then we come down here, there is another one I believe right there underneath those bees that are working. And then another one that's just starting, you actually can see that bee is going inside of that one. It's a nurse bee that's going inside of there to feed that new queen bee. And uh, a lot of people may know that they actually feed the new queen's royal jelly. And uh, they feed worker bees uh, honey, but they feed the queen royal jelly. And that's what turns her into a queen instead of a worker bee. Um, I don't see the queen on this side but if we move around to the other side we can possibly see the uh, queen on this side i found her earlier of course now that we've got the we're looking we may not be able to find her but that's how i know that this hive has not swarmed yet because um because the queen is still there and the, the queen is actually still in the hive. And so since she's still in the hive, that's how we know that the hive has not swarmed. So we're kind of interested and kind of excited over the next few days to see what's happening or wh what's gonna happen. Uh, what we're gonna see is, is the about 50% of these bees will just leave. They'll go out the exit. And when they go out of the exit, they'll fly in a kind of a big group, almost like a bunch of blackbirds fly through the air, but it'll be bees instead and they'll fly around in the air and then eventually they'll light in a limb or on a bush somewhere and then when they light on that bush then they'll send scout bees out to look in different places to see if they can find a place to make a new hive and uh, to make their new home and uh, so if you have any questions you know we'd be glad to answer those questions for you.